as y'all can see from the banner behind me that says happy manhood, this here is a very special day. Terry lost his virginity. Congratulations, dude. You did no, it. No, I didn't. I mean, I, I did a long time ago. Oh, really? What was his name? Zip it. Today ain't about you two ass bags. It's about a special little guy named Benny. Come over here, you corpse eating some bitch. Why you throw me a manhood party, old man? You always say first dead hooker when boy becomes a man. That's true. There's different ways to measure manhood. Dead hookers and good old fashioned calendar years. Today, Benny, you're seven. Benny, seven years old? And before you cross that bridge into man land forever, we got one more piece of boyhood fun. Please let me down, Mike. I can't not take this weight load. Pinatas don't talk, boy. He oh, Demon dogs. Right, my sun sword. Hey, everybody. Do I got the best demographic specific game tester a man can hope for or what? Yeah, man. Today you're a man, and it's time to go away. Will you bring me celerity to grave? May I have the honor of killing you? No, boy. When I die, it's gonna be by my own hand. Just like my granddaddy. It's you that's going somewhere today. Jump in the caddy. I got some surprise for you. Okay. Wanna see a magic trick? Hand me that giant bag of stuff I got you. Now watch it disappear. Dude, that was my only weed. If I die in this noose, please pull my pants down and claim it was autoerotic asphyxiation. I want Mother to know that I died nobly. I'm dumping my first hook out, Honorable Father. No, Penny, the gift I'm giving you is better than a dead naked whore, if you can believe that. It's a little thing I like to call freedom. Why you set Benny free? You're gonna shoot me in the back? No, boy, it's just that at seven years old, you leave the demographic my game company targets with its inappropriate video games. It ain't that I don't like you, Benny. It's just that I got no more use for you. Yeah, man, that ejector seat really pays for itself. Well, wax my boobies, put a wig on my pecker, and call me Richard Simmons. How the hell did you get back? You never give me that, Benny. I'm worse than your herpes. Well, hey, Benny. Hey, shh. Shut your mouth, boy. I hope nobody heard that. I might be high, but you look like Todd. Only gayer and fatter. I said gayer, right? I see it, too. Holy <laughs> Shared hallucinations. Dave, maybe we're meant to be more than just friends. I'm just kidding, of course. Chris, what are you doing here? I didn't know you were back in town. Todd, mi hermano. I missed you, buddy. Holy f Everybody get in here! Todd has a lover and he's bilingual. And it's one of those creepy relationships where they dress and look the same. Like lesbians with penises. <gasps> Hisbians. No, boys bien. Damn it, there has to be a word for this. When I say go f yourself, Todd, I didn't expect you to give birth. Are you another one of Todd's venture friends? <sighs> he's gonna go broke. Can you let me down? With pleasure. <sighs> you okay, brother? Brother? Yes. Todios is my little brother. Oh my god, Todd is dating his brother. They are les bros. Oh, that word's awesome. I am a genius. Who ordered the big gay juggler? He's not a juggler, but it's true. He's my brother. And he thinks it's cool to deliver papers on a unicycle. What a nerd, right? Is that so? Well, he's right. It is cool, damn it. What's your beat, Unitard? My route is the world. The Himalaya, the Mojave, the Amazon, Detroit, downtown San Jose. I've ridden it all in my day. Hot damn! Nathan. You ever wrote an autobiography? You know, something inspiring, like, uh, like Yes I Can by Sammy Davis Jr. I can assure you, sir, that Chris's actual life as a paperboy is nowhere near as interesting as my own life. As a scientist of the imagination. Todd, shut up. Your voice is killing my crotch eggs. Dude, I've got a great idea. Why doesn't Game of Vision make a game about Chris? I think Todd would really like that. That is the opposite of what I would like. Good idea, David. We're making a game about this one-wheel news jockey, and that's that. And Fatty, you're the lead developer. I'd love to stay and work with my little bro. But games are Todd's domain, so. Yes, it would be a horrible intrusion. I'll show you a horrible intrusion. Mr. Larity, is this or is this not a family business? Incest is best, right? If I had a sister, I'd bang the hell out of her. And I spilled enough blood to know that it's thicker than water. And a good mixer with scotch. Family should come first. Yes, Unitard Newsboy is happening. More for sure than the mortician nail Marilyn Monroe. Now get out of my way, dummies. I got to dump an orphan off in the woods. And that ain't no poop joke. Here you go, kiddo. Oh, boy. A sausage necklace for Benny? You bet! And right over there in the woods is a real live teddy bear! And I heard he s cotton candy! Oh, thank you, great leader Larity! Oh, it's all like Donkey Kong, bitch! Don't your fools know how Korean food tastes like uh, uh, uh. Take it, candy machine! Voila! My chocolate loin stick. Dave, Jerry, there you are. May I confide in you? No. no. The problem is my brother, Chris. Todd, shut up. I know this will be difficult for you to believe, but for some reason, Mother loves him more than she loves me. Even though I am the one who has washed her Gray Valley low these past five years. <laughs> Todd, that was your fault because you grossed Jerry out. There's nothing but beauty in her folds and crevices, and maybe some lint and sometimes loose change. 
And I'm afraid that if Chris stays here now, I will lose my place in Mother's affection forever. Jerry, let's tag the machine and see what happens. Thank you for listening. Anytime. Thank you for the bears. They were very good, huh? <laughs> I left the best part for you, great white samurai. Korean tradition say you eat them, you will see the future. I seen it, boy, and you ain't in it. Get over here right now, Benny. I'll get you. Come on. Hey, Todd's brother. Dude, you ever been to Lake Titicaca? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sad dumb bastards. Of course I have. I rode across it on a local ped boat called a Peruvian steamer. I'm so high you seem awesome, even though you're related to Todd. I know why your mother loves you better than him. David, no! You were my confidant! Dude, good luck. I've been trying for years, and I still can't make it reach. I missed the entire ninth grade with a fractured neck. Uh, I want me inside me so bad. Uh. Is Todd having a seizure? No, no, he's self-soothing. He's fine. It's it's common among autistics and, and children with Asperger's. An Asperger? It got worse when I left to roam Mother Earth's thighs on my uni. Chris! No one wants to be bored by your boring stories of world travel and exotic conquest. Hey, guess what? They're better than your lame mouth talk, Asperger. Guys, lay off my brother. While he does reek of cheese and bad ideas, he's a totally hip cat in my book. Hey, man, you're so cool. Hey, you want to go hug stuff at cars? Yeah, let's do it. And then I gave my followers important words to live by. I said, if you're going to do something, do it well. And leave something with you. Read some more Charles Manson story, Mr. Larity. Make Benny so warm and sleepy. Oh. It's go time, you little Szechuan, sweetie. We got time. You got the good, Mr. Larity. <laughs> Here I come, Mr. Larity. <clears throat> All right, little brother. Now, see, I set up this unicycle park so you can get an idea of what my intricate movements are for the game. This isn't necessary at all. Let's go inside. What's going on? We're just doing some research, my good and sexy lady. <laughs> You're just like Tony Hawk, only bigger. Oh, yes. Yes, much bigger. Especially in the old baby maker, the old sausage factory, downstairs in the old peeny basement, if you know what I mean. We get it! Now that you know what we're doing, go back inside! F*** you, Todd. I don't worry, Todd. I'm like a fine mayonnaise. I spread deliciously, and everyone may have a taste. There's enough Sir Christopher for everyone! Wow, his toss is so accomplished. Not as accomplished as my toss. <laughs> Dino, I think I finally shook Benny. Awesome. I like to shake girls. I shake girls like this. Shake them really hard. What's up? That's a good one, Mr. Lurkey. Now I got sushi. You want some? Whoa. I I'm just kidding. You little touch. That Korean has wang chunged me for the last time. Yo, Dad, when I was little, you used to say you should have had me adopted. And now I'm finally glad nobody wanted you, because you're a gosh darn genius. We gots to get Benny adopted. You hear that? My dad thinks I'm a genus. A group of organisms that share a common characteristic. What's up? I can't believe you hit a doormat from a hundred yards away. Well, that's not all I can hit. Unicycling really works the mula banda. I've always wanted to date a newsboy. It's so hot. So, oh, you think it's hot that Chris was breastfed until he was eight? How hot's that? Yes, huh? well, I do know my way around a nipple. He pooped his pants at the Christmas pageant! Pooper! I was eight months old. I played the baby Jesus. Oh my god, you're an actor? I pooped my pants many times. Several times, actually. In fact, I'm pooping my pants right now. Yeah. Anyone up for a changing? Duh! I'm out of paper. Something in here must work as a pipe. Nice. Just like using an apple, but it tastes like bear thoughts. I'm taking a hit from a bear's head. Man, I really have to get my life together. Why you stupid spoke so stupid? Ah! Did you hear that? The bear's still alive! Right here, stupid Jerry! Why you scream like a girl? What are you doing in here, dude? <laughs> then he's gonna get adopted? Live with some family. So sad now. I don't know what to do. Scare the potential parents away, man. How? Just be yourself. Yeah, you're terrifying. Creepy little Asian kids are always scary. There I was. A rabbit dog to my left, sprinkler system to my right. What do you sacrifice? A leg or the news? It may seem like a tough choice, but I had a job to do. No, what a hero! Blah, blah, blah! A hero? Huh. No, no, I'm just a man with some crazy ideas about honor and duty. You must feel the same way about programming. I mean, when you look in the mirror, don't you just feel good? If you must know, only when I am dressed as She-Ra. Now let's just finish the game, Chris! How about we make level two about delivering papers in India? Because I've got some great stories about a talking tiger and a bear that sang to me. And, and I even have a story about a monkey king. Very well. I will immortalize you. Excellent. <laughs> Look, we're laughing together. We're brothers. <laughs> Come here, hug me. Stop it! I'm laughing alone. Woody and Mia, I am so glad y'all came to look at my age. I think there's been some mistake. This cage contains a boy. He's darling. What's wrong with a boy? How am I supposed to marry a boy when he grows up? What? <laughs> it was a joke. Ha ha ha! You lose, old man! All right, everyone. Gather round. We are gathered, you idiot. I present to you, Paper Man, the Oracle. In my game, the paper boy, Chris, is threatened by people and animals hell-bent on killing him. Survival is highly unlikely. Come, Chris. Try the game. First play. I am deeply honored, sir. Ha-ha! Die, paper idiots, die! Let me try. 
This is insanely hard. Finally! A game that's got some meat to it! Great work, Todd. What do you mean? Your precious paper man is dead. Do you hear me? Dead! I killed him! Exactly. It's dangerous. Just like my life. It's faster than the highlight I played in the mountains of Portugal and more thrilling than the boomerang mouth catch I played with Aborigines. I love you, Chris! Tell me Good up. job, Chris! This game's gonna be huge! Yeah, yeah you're great! Cool. Chris! This game is mine! People everywhere are finally going to know the name Chris. You mean Todd? People everywhere are gonna know the name Todd! Fatty, you're just a magician. Chris is the real magic, and to send this game off right, I'm gonna have Chris do a demonstration to promote wow. it. Wow! Oh, I'll show you magic. Swelter venom sleeping blot! Boil thou first and charm it, pot! Yes! Yes, that's right. Run from my deadly spell. Gosh, I'm nervous about the demo tomorrow. I mean, being a role model is a big responsibility. Yes, yes, huge responsibility. And so, I have prepared a present. Please, look in the closet. Oh, oh, come on. You didn't have to give me a present. Look in the closet. Look in the closet. Wow, your doll collection is huge. Uh, why is this one wearing mommy's pantyhose? <laughs> oh, geez, oh my God, something accidentally fell on my head. Yes, it, it must have fallen from the ceiling. And it's falling again. <laughs> my non-wooden leg. Todd. Yes. Are you dying? Uh, Todd. Oh, there are people out there who expect a demo. Now, the Paperboy Creed is never disappoint a customer. Ah, Todd, you will have to do the demo for me. Ow. Impossible. Please, Todd. There's only one person in the world I can trust with the most important thing in my life. My sack! You would let me hold your sack? Oh, silly. You're my only brother. Of course I would let you hold my sack. I've always dreamed of your sack slung across my shoulder. Of course you have. Why, we're brothers, aren't we? <laughs> I love you! If I do the demo, then all eyes will be on me. And perhaps Mother will let me move back into her room. I'll do it! Give me a one-wheeled steed! <gasps> Steven Spielberg! Glad you saw my ass! I figured you'd pay top dollar for a real-life China, baby. How you been, amigo? Good, but not great. Got a hot actress for my next movie. Totally going to nail her. Uh, that's the good. But I'm having a heck of a time finding the right Asian kid. That's the not great. Stevie, I am the answer to all your funny talk Jewish prayers. Hey, kid, can you say, hey, lady, call him Dr. Jones? Hey, lady, call him Dr. Jones. Hey, la what's the first part? Liking him, not loving him. I have to feel it right here. In your ass? In my wallet, which is in my ass. Oh! Color purple, blue donkey balls. Okay, not even liking him anymore. Bang it, Benny, I thought I told you to behave. Benny do a lot of bad things in his short life, but I cannot lie about color purple. That's where Benny draw the line. Well, I got to go out and start the dang old festivities, but this adoption thing ain't over. Hey, do you think Chris will sign my copy of the Sunnyvale Herald? Shut up, kid, or I'll sign the sidewalk with your face. Now, where in the hooker's purse is that Chris? I want to see what he can do with that third leg. I hope he's all right. I want to lose my virginity to him. Come on. My other one. The second one. Chris, what happened? <laughs> you mugged an old lady for a wheelchair, right? And then you put your legs in fake cast so people would roll you to chocolate milk. You are a genius, dude. No, I... Look, everyone! That's I, Todd! Venerate me! That's right! Ooh! I'm getting the hang of it. Victory! I am the paper man now! Oh, watch it! Fireballs! Shut up! Ow, reptile! I'm trying to deliver your paper! You need the news! Thank you! Oh! He's chewing me because I'm delicious! I have to save my little bro. No, Chris, wait, you're hurt! And no one cares about Todd! Uh, I care about Todd. Oh! Go away! I do not need saving! But you're being eaten alive, my brother! Look at them! They love you! What do I have to live for? Just let me die here. But get mother so she can watch me expire. No way, buddy. Woo, woo, woo. Watch this. Woo, 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 woo. Showboating. This isn't as much fun now that Todd's not dying. Or maybe the weed's wearing off. Now that is a problem we can solve. But we're out of weed. If you use an apple for a pipe, you eat the apple. If you use a bear hat for a pipe, you do what? Jerry, sometimes I do not give you enough credit, man. I don't think this is working. I just bit a tooth. Hi, everyone. Come on, gather around. Everybody, even the people I don't know or care about. Dude, I don't think this is such a good idea. You know Todd doesn't like to be disturbed when he's programming. Does he mind being disturbed when he's dead? Because I think we're about to find his riding horse. Gross, dude. I'm just trying to prepare you for the worst, dude. He's been in there like five weeks. Todd, we're coming in, so if you're banging away in your baloney, then prepare to see me throw up. Oh, oh, it smells like... Uh... Can't piss an ass. Holy crap, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, best of the week, Lou! <laughs> Todd, it's me, Dave. It's time to come to the meeting, buddy. Uh, yes, Dave.
I know the oh. name. Well. Todd, you've got to come to the meeting and present your new game. It's going to be okay, man. But I should go home, have Mother bathe me. Warm water and her sudsy hands are just what I need. I'm coming, Mumsy! No time for that now. I've got some water on me. There you go, fresh as a daisy. Perfect. Now, let's go hear this masterpiece you've been working on. Me, I'm too high to give a rip. Ah, yes. Must masterpiece. Show world. Genius of... The game, Elfin Quest, The Hunt for Ear of Nibor. The style, taking fantasy gaming to an entirely different level. The effect, not since Gonad the Barbarian has there been a game this great, but far, far more triumphal, as you can see. Hold on a minute, Dean! Didn't we already ship this game? Dude, here it comes! Nah, bro, I think we shipped Jerry's fantasy game like three weeks ago. What about my game, Fruit Planet? Anyway, we already shipped Jerry's fantasy game, so I guess what I'm saying is next! <laughs> Please forgive me, Mr. Larity, I, I did not immediately recognize that as a clever joke. Boy, I wasn't joking! Can't have two fantasy games out at one time. It'll confuse the marketplace. Let me put this as delicately as possible. Your game can. Yeehaw. Okay, very well. Uh, you, you shipped Jerry's game three weeks ago and did not tell me. Uh, uh, fair is fair. And <laughs> you horrid douchebag bitch face. Holy crap. Crap, get him off of me. Tell us your boobs. Jerry, close your mouth so you don't get a taste of the junk. What? It's rule number deuce when you're wrestling a fat naked man. What's rule number one? Avoid the ass sandwich at all costs. Dude, you're breaking rule number one. Oh, oh, he's gained weight. Oh, he's crushing my heart. I taste death. Hey, Todd, if you fart right now, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Oh, why? If you boys want to play grab ass, do it on your own time. Dean, separate these two tardos. You got it, Dad. Boom, get over here, dude. I can't see. Don't worry, dude. It's just temporary ass blindness. I've seen it a million times before. Here you go, son. Just in case you want to commit suicide to spare yourself from the nightmares that you're surely going to get. That's the nicest thing you've ever done for me. You're right. How sad is that? He'll never catch me alive. Okay, well, that happened. Uh... <laughs> Let's get back to the meeting, everybody. Dean, how are we coming on crafting that mission statement? Oh, I learned how to spell mission, see? There's no H in there. I don't think your head could actually fit up. Is I don't know, man. Don't know what? How to pleasure a woman? No, I don't know. The secret of staying cool all summer long? No, I... Uh, how I can be a complete genius, but also a regular guy that people can relate to. The secret is strapping it to the side of your leg and wearing slightly loose pants. That way, when it dangles, it doesn't dangle. No, damn it! I don't know about Todd. When Larity pulled his game, I think he finally snapped. He kind of scares me, Dave. Um, a lot. Dude, what's the worst you could do? Like, disembowel you with a shot back and force you to wear a colostomy bag the rest of your life? Yeah, that would be pretty bad. If Todd didn't snap after his birthday, he's not gonna snap after this. Dave, wouldn't it just be easier to pee in his beer bottle? That's not the point, dude. The point is, best prank ever. Now, help me fit my Johnson inside this tap. Alright, ready? Okay, time to take a drink. I guess. Besides, we've got bigger problems now. What do you mean, bigger problems? Our little Korean connection. What the pickles want? I'm very busy. Hey, so how about you approve our games? I told you already. You want me to approve your games? I'm gonna need unfiltered cigarettes. Benny, you know Larity will flip out if you give you unfiltered. They're bad for kids. You'll also get cancer like ten minutes sooner. I couldn't do that to you, buddy. Maybe you should think about what's bad for programmers. And what's bad for programmers is never getting another game ship. <laughs> you see? I made a funny for you. I don't get it. You approved our last game in like an hour. Oh, I approved your last game, all right. And what I get? No thank you. No tip. No damn anything! Hey, thanks for approving our last game, bro. Ah, too late. Benny on strike. And I got all the power in my tiny Asian hands. You want games approved? Here's my list of demands. Now go get your f***ing shine box. I say we kill him and replace him with a stuffed animal. Dave, let me talk to him. Hey, little man. I hear you. But you're the lead game tester, and that's a mighty responsibility. Hit the bricks. I don't listen to a guy that gets less ass than me. Listen, you little You get over here. Help! Help! Jerry and Dave tried to touch me where I pee! Oh, crap. What? No, no. Uh, my hands are up in the air. I didn't touch anyone's wee, -wee. Help! Thank God you're here. You hold him down and I'll kick him in the face. Hey! Shut it, perv. The nerve of this guy, right? I mean... <laughs> hey, Chinatown, this ain't over between me and you. Oh, it's done. It's done more than your mom, baby. I think you chipped my tooth. Uh, you should be thanking me. If I'd kicked you harder, you would have swallowed it. Benny is going to screw us, Dave. We're gonna be fired. You know how Larry is about ship dates. That little bastard. If he's not careful, someone's gonna run him down with, uh... Ben! Uh, well, yeah, that's kind of specific, but... Whoa, what the hell? God, you can't park that here. Hi, uh, Jerry, you bitch whore! Don't still get run over like a man! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh, are we under attack? Is that damn Russian? Nothing. Todd tried to kill Jerry, but like everything else in his life, he failed. Heads up! Ah! Even his man is fat! Dean, are you okay? Yeah, he just ran over my head. My head holds up pretty good to Van. Damn it, I don't have my pistola on me. Black Steve, I need you to take care of business for me, son. It's already done. Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh my God. Ooh, that is no bueno. Okay, looky lose, we got work to do. No time to stand around and watch a man burn to death. Hey, what's for lunch today? I suddenly got a hankering for some barbecue. Hey, Jerry, how come none of your games are shipped this week? You got four seconds to answer.
You see, dude? I knew Todd's gone psycho. What, because he crashed his van into a building a couple of times? If that's psycho, guess what, buddy? I'm psycho, because I did that just last week. Well, right, but you were on peyote. You push the secret button that lets me pass through walls. Awesome! Dr. Freckles, you are the best cat doctor ever! What else should I do? <laughs> Suck my d no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Anyway, crash into that building. That's a great idea! And who's to say Todd's not on peyote? You're not a doctor like Dr. Freckles. But if you want to waste your time worrying about that, go ahead. Because you know what? I'm going to be worried about the little midget and his little demands. Where the hell am I going to find chocolate kimchi and nicotine fruit roll-ups? Tell me! Okay, Benny. We got most of what you wanted on the list. Yeah, we couldn't find the cat handcuffs or the pixie stick nunchucks. Benny, not happy! All right, but we did get you bok choy flavored wine coolers. Oh, heavenly dog on Betamax. Get it. Plus a gross of switchblade, cigarettes of the world, batting gloves for your joystick hand, and ten pounds of pure uncut Colombian sugar. Huh? It's all there, man. So uh, how about you approve those games? Okay, Dave and Jerry. Family ties. The video game. Thumbs up. Approve. Wait, what about our other games? Big ass frog, hemorrhoid avenger, hobo strangler, jumping juice, moon banger. Moon banger, Dave. It's the one where you screw the moon, dude. Yeah, I got that much. But sorry, Joe's. Gonna cost extra to get those stink bombs approved. But we met your demands. Yeah, and I maxed out Jerry's credit cards and all what? this. What? Yeah, my new list. Twenty-four hours, bitches. Dave, what are we gonna do? Don't worry, I've got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Not one of your better days. Uh, the bullets only pierce the first layer of fat. Don't you see, my mechanical friend? I can't be killed. I'm a god. And god wants revenge. Let's not get carried away. Silent you. God hears no voice but his own. Tiffany, as I was being baked like a delicious, delicious ham, I had a vision. I must find a master that can restore my charisma points to right my course. And to do this, I must go on a quest. A quest that has three missions. First, I must capture Molly Ringwood. Secondly, I must use her beauty as an offering to Gary Gygax, the only man who can grant me my points. Thirdly, only then can I come back and vanquish the evil that is Game of Vision. Are you with me? I'm out. Who needs you? It's just me and you, Tiffany. By the power of Moldor, I shall be avenged. In. I wish we were in a high ceiling room right now, because that would have sounded great with an echo. <laughs> My good man, my name is Pardu, the traveler. I will take two packs of gum, a diet coke, some duct tape, a liter of that chloroform, some nachos, of course, a crowbar, and uh, some of that baby oil. And in return, I will give you this coin. That's great. You need some rope with that? We're having a two for one sale on rope. <laughs> Why not, trusty shopkeep? For I am going to abduct Molly Ringwald. It is the first part of my quest a quest to find the great master, Gary Gygax, ruler of all role playing games. Uh, he will restore me. Yeah, good luck with that. Anything else? Yeah. Can I get a hot dog a burrito with triple cheese? What's that? It's a hot dog filled with nacho cheese wrapped in a tortilla. It's a delicacy of Middle Earth. Yeah, we don't have that. Hmm. Did you call another store? I'll wait. Jerry, these are some friends of mine. Johnny Handsome and Massive Puss. Hey, this is a really nice restaurant. I love spaghetti. Johnny Handsome is my mom's cousin once removed. By the way, Johnny, she wants to have you over for a uh, Sunday brunch, so, you know, give her a call. Anyway, I need you to take care of something for me. Does this something got a name? Yeah, Benny. Dave, are you putting a hit out on a little kid? Dude, I just want them to rough him up a little. So what do you say? And what are you offering in return? The usual. No, I don't want another gift certificate to the Red Lobster. We want the beta testers of Moonbanger and Jumpin' Jews. Oh, and Pencil Pusher 4. With all the respect that's due, Massive Pussy, um, Pencil Pusher 4 isn't done yet. It actually won't be out till next year. Figure it out. I promised my kid Pencil Pusher 4 if he made the honor roll. He made the honor roll. That's the deal, boys. Take it or get the f out. Yeah, we'll take it. Shermer High School. What a strange name for a castle. Get me a chicken hot pocket. No. I said, get me a chicken hot pocket. Does this look like chicken hot pocket, Dad? I said, get me a chicken hot pocket. No, Dad. Psh. Greetings. My name is Pandu, the traveler from Horo. I will now pause and allow you time to bow. Hello? I'm burying my soul here? I am sorry, kind sir. But I am a knight on a quest. Now where is Molly, the fiery red-headed sorceress? What are you talking about? She's the one putting her lipstick on with her boobs. Did I stutter? Ah, yes. Fear not, good woman. I am not here to rape you. I am merely here to abduct you. Look, I don't talk to geeks. Then perhaps you will talk to my staff. <laughs> Help! Help! Help me! You shall travel with me, as a princess is accustomed, in the trunk of my rented automobile. The chariot awaits, fair maiden. Bummer. Don't just sit there! Help me, you f Why didn't we help her? Because she's a stuck-up bitch! Hey! Keep it down. Come on, Bender. Take a shot. I dare you. Dave, I don't feel comfortable with this. Yeah, well, I don't feel comfortable with you standing behind me when I pee. Look, Massive Pussy and Johnny Handsome won't hurt anybody. They'll just scare Benny into shipping our games, and that'll be that. Promise? There's a game programmer pee on shoes. What? Oh, I get it. Whoa, is that blood? 
You dumb turd box. You never beat Benny. I'm Korean fool. What do you got, baseball? I got kimchi, bitch. Miss Ring Wolf, are you quite comfortable? Ah! May I remind you, this is not a rape, but merely an abduction. Let me out of here! Good, just so we're clear. Not again. Todd, just because I invented Dungeons and Dragons doesn't mean you can harass me like this. Creator, my name is Pardu. I know not of this, Todd. I am from the land of Joro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in. I have neighbors, you know. I brought you a meat offering. Behold, the sorceress, Mother Ringwald, in all her red devil-haired glory. Hi, nice to meet you. I just want you to know that I am not involved in this in any way. Please help me. Todd, you have to stop doing this. It's just a game. You're acting like a crazy person. But, Creator, I'm confused. My name is not Todd. It is Pardu, the traveler. I have traversed great distances in my rental horse. Todd, if this happens again, I'm going to have to call the police. I am an adult. I don't have time for games. But I have brought you Molly Ringwald. Help! As well as coin and herb. And Molly Ringwald! These are arcade tokens for a place called the Dream Factory. Now we must buy her. In exchange for Molly Ringwald, I would like you to give me three points of dexterity, five points of strength, six points of sexual stamina and 200 charisma points. Sexual stamina is not a part of Dungeons and Dragons. I made you my offer, creator. Now take it or leave it. <laughs> Damn it, Molly Ringwald. Transfer the man. Sing an aria. Damn it, I thought you were an actress. Act like you're worth something. Fine. I bestow upon you three points of dexterity, five points of strength, six points of sexual stamina, and 200 points of charisma. Blazzle curdazzle. Yes, I feel it. That's the magic happening. Now get out. Paint my ass white and call me Meryl Street. I never thought Dave and Jerry had it in them. Had what in them, Dad? Benny just told me that Dave and Jerry hired somebody to kill me. It's true, honorable father. Two fat hairy grease balls are coming today to punch your ticket. And I don't know what I would ever do without you, my precious, precious papa. <laughs> I feel like dancing me a hoe down. Say what? <laughs> I love it. Life tastes sweeter when you're being hunted. Benny, if this all goes okay and I can avoid assassination, how'd you like to see your parents again as a little thank you? Uh, Mama, it's what I dream about every night. Okay, then, get to getting. We got work to do. And I would like to thank you, Benny. <laughs> Good job, son. What that little bugger doesn't know is that his parents died in a tragic accident while trying to find him. Oh, well, kids are resilient. He'll bounce right back. There it is. The bastion of evil that must be taken out. And with my new charisma points and four cases of power sticks, I will vanquish the Dark Knight Larity and the traitor Jerry, as well as Claire, the elfin whore, Mary, the boob troll, Clarence, the fairy king, Black Stephen, the serpent prince, and David, lord of the jerk holes. And then, you shall be my queen, Tiffany. In this new land we will have created, what say you to that? Tiffany can have lots of hot sex, you big strong man. Of course, my love. It's not going to be my grandson. I told you I wasn't feeling well. I think I ate a bad chili dog. Well, a two pump chump ain't gonna satisfy me, boy. I said I would make that up to you. Why don't you get sexy with me? I'll slap you back. Enough. Let's just get on with avenging. Lord, can Padu get no respite? Is that you, Black Steve? Yo, man, I didn't know she was your sister. What the f are you talking about? Nothing. I gotta go. Woo! You got beat with the ugly stick. I'm out. Oh, that was him. Yo, you see a little Korean kid run through here? No good, sire. But I did see an Asian leprechaun scamper past but a second ago. Thanks. I'm telling you, I saw them come this way. Oh, hey, Todd. Todd is dead. There is only Pardu the Conqueror. Hey, dude, you got nacho cheese on your Johnson. So I do. That is a small price to pay for victory. Yeah, whatever. Did you see two mobsters walk through here? No, but I did see two swarthy gilflings scurry through the underbrush nary a second ago. Is this dynamite? Come on, Jerry, we don't have time. But I think that was dynamite, Dave. All right, you little piece of... We could do this the easy way or the hard way. That's what I told your mom. Point to Benny. Okay, you little bitch, this is gonna hurt. Also what I told your mom. Oh, a wise guy, huh? <laughs> what the hell? Dave, where the hell are you, Dad? Well, 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 look who it is. Fiddly D and Fiddly D. Son, watch me jump to me. You got a deep shiny juice. That's my best boy. Okay, G.I. Joe. Boys, I got two barrels of my four-barrel shotgun left. You want to give me a reason not to plug your butts? <laughs> this is awesome. Well, Tiffany, all is ready. Oh, you can see it is. You're so powerful, Baidu! Woo! Your hat is Patrick Swayze on fire! Thank you, my little make-believe temptress. It is time. There is light this candle! S'more, s'mores! <laughs> Mindful Benny! Look, Larity, you're just trying to scare Benny. They weren't really gonna hurt him. Just maybe break his face or something. Oh, God, excuses faker in my girlfriend's fake boobies! You brought assassins here to kill me so you could steal my treasure. 
And to think, I once loved you boys more than I love my own retarded son. Come on, bro. Sir, you've got it all wrong. I can explain. Fellas, I'm afraid this is going to be the end. The end of Eva! Yesterday I felt like kissing your face, but I punched it instead. Dave, I think we did it. Dude, I know we did. I mean it. This game is awesome. Awesome? Ninja Pirate Robots is the best thing we've ever done. It is going to be mega tits huge. Yeah. It's a shame we're not going to see any of that money. Larity is going to get rich off of this game. Which leads me to my next point. Screw Larity. What? I say we leave Game of Vision, form our own company, and as an added bonus, release the game ourselves. You're going to start laughing soon, right? Let me know you're kidding, right, Dave? I've already found an investor for our startup cost. Guess what, pal? We move into our new offices this afternoon. What? No, we can't leave. We've got security here and mediocre insurance. What if I need to get something lanced? Not to mention that this game technically belongs to Larity since we created it while we were working for him. If he finds out, he'll kill us with a gun. Jerry, Larity is crap house crazy. He snacks on venison pops. He might kill us one day for taking the last diet soda or passing out flyers for a rager at his house. I don't know. That was you? Do you really have to ask? The point, my friend, is that you have quite literally been living in the past. The future is stoner vision. Stoner vision, people are going to think we're dealing, Dave. That's phase two, compadre. Well, I will say this. I haven't seen you put this much work into anything since you turned your computer into a bomb. Well, that's how much I believe in you and in Ninja Pirate Robots. Ninja Robot Pirates. Better my way, but let's stay focused here. What do you say? Uh, I don't know, man. <coughs> homo. Uh, excuse me, I said homo. It's just that we have good jobs. I don't really want to leave. Ring, ring. Hello? Opportunity. Who are you looking for? Jerry? Hmm. He was here a second ago, but it seemed like he's been replaced by a big fat pussy. No. You don't want to leave a message? Oh, you're never going to call him again. Hmm. What are you wearing? Oh, opportunity, you are a dirty girl. All right, let's do it. Yes! Well, the first thing we need to do is write a proper letter of resignation. We need to leave here without burning any bridges. Dave? Okay, two words. First word sounds like you. I got it. You are a douchebag, and we quit. Exactly. Dave, video strains is a brilliant idea for a game. Put it into production immediately. No, you are the douchebag, and we quit. I already guessed you die gum charade. No, you don't get it, Larity. Fine, fine, both y'all can have a raise. I realize you're worth a lot more than I'm paying you. Whoa, Dave, wait, maybe we should reconsider this. Reconsider? What you two sissies yapping about? Mr. Larity, give us a second. Dave, we don't have to do this. What the? Oh, man. Hey, dude, we quit. Did you say you are quitting? Nobody quits, boy. And nobody sets my desk on fire but me. Jerry, today we pay this place back for all the crap we had to deal with. For tomorrow, we shall be kings. Come with me to the land of freedom. A land filled with handies, cash, and water coolers filled with schnapps. I've really enjoyed working here, and you've been a real mentor. Hey, gummit, I gotta blow off some steam. I hunted you once, Kyoko. Now I'm gonna hunt you again. Hey, Mr. Larry, you wanna see me? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, right, Whitey. Hey, no bullets, you that gum pint the bar. Two layers of chocolate bars. Sprinkles. Some sour cream and onion potato chips. Oh, God. I can't reach. Swiss rolls. Sorry about that, man. It's been really cool working with you. Come on, Jerry. you got to get in the spirit here. This is your chance to do whatever messed up thing you've ever dreamt of doing to these people. Let's do it. Oh, my gosh, Dave. You're right. I have an idea. <laughs> I'll gag my stick. Mary, hey, I just wanted to let you know I think you're very pretty and extremely intelligent. And I don't know what you're doing this weekend, but if you wanted and I wanted, maybe you and me could go out for ice cream or... Or miniature golf. What I'm trying to say is, Mary, would you like to watch a sunset with me? Woohoo! So what do you say? Do we give it a go? Oh yeah, you're on. Crack. I've been waiting to do this a long time, dude. You know nothing about video games, and you're half a retard! Now, prepare to have your ass kicked while I make the sounds of an angry Asian man. Hi guys, I hold... It's alright, girls. You can go back to sleep now. <laughs> oh, so I guess you heard we're leaving. <laughs> Maybe we could brunch sometime? I'll just take Dave. Who wants my computer? Here you go. Ew, it's all sticky. Who wants my tape collection? You know you can take that with you, Dave. No way, man. I'm buying all new stuff with my new money. I call dibs on the Miami summer machine. They're all yours, dude, because we're out of here. Woohoo! Stoner vision, here we come. You're sure there's no way we're ever coming back here, right? Not a chance. Then suck eggs, losers. Sorry, was that too harsh, Dave? Nah. Okay, well, it looks like we only need to sell 10% of our game stock to pay off your investor. It was such a great idea to work in this old garage, Dave. We were saving so much money. Maybe this really was the right decision. Saving money? Savings for suckers and old people, dude. This old garage is connected to a kick-ass house I rented. We're just working out here because there's no room inside. What? Follow me, dude. Follow me to the promised land. Oh, and I hope you're not allergic to heaven. Oh, my God! Here we have the zebra room. Dave! The arcade room. <laughs> yeah. Cousin Pac-Man, by the way. This, of course, is Nolan Bush now. What? Hey, man. You must be Jerry. I'm Nolan. You want to play some Atari later? No, thanks. I'm good. What a jerk. Stay cool. Always. Hey, you should play Atari with Nolan. He's costing you like a grand a day. A grand a day? You have to play with him for at least two hours a day to make it cost effective. Oh, is that all? It's not my rules. It's math. Let us continue with Le Tour. 
Putting green. Check. Underwater room. Cafeteria. Uh, can I have three cheeseburgers, a birthday cake, ooh, and a French dip sandwich? That sounds delightful. Right away, Mr. Dave. Over here? Private zoo. Dave, yeah. what the hell did you do? You spent all the money we had. I spent way more than that, dude. Oh, my God. You gotta spend big to win big, dude. Ninja pirate robots will pay for this house ten times over if the game makes $30 million and eight cents. Oh, my God. Whoa, watch it, Jerry. Don't worry, buddy. It's not a mistake you'll make twice. Trust me. Now, quit screwing around. I want to show you the company Jet Copter. Did I mention it's invisible? It costs a load, but I think it's worth it because it's invisible. Kill me! Please, God, let this gorilla kill me right now! That will probably be a wrench. And who the hell is this? Jerry, this is Tony Dakota, our chief investor. Oh, sorry, Mr. Dakota. A, a real pleasure to meet you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. This ain't a vote of confidence, Jerry. This is my money! I'll be talking to you boys soon. Oh, jeez, Dave, that's our investor? Awesome, right? Dude, he's got a gun, and he let me feel it. He put it right on my temple. The Dave and Jerry are gone, and that's a good thing. Those two sons of bitches are like a piddle stain on this company. And I don't like the way you ladies wipe your unmentionables yeah. after you make a number one. Yeah, we too must wipe away the residue left by Jerry and Dave. And that's why I'm happy to introduce to you our new team of Mike and Sean. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Larity. Uh, let me start off by saying what a thrill it is to be part of such an innovative company. Here, here, Sean. And may I add, we're tickled pink to have the opportunity to brainstorm with so many bright, talented people. <laughs> that's just hope we can keep it up. Fingers crossed. Do they expect us to buy this crap? Todd, I hope this doesn't embarrass you, but I'm a huge fan of your game Nacho Time. Mm, you have won my respect. Always good to meet a fan. And Mary. At the risk of getting on Mr. Larity's bad side, I think you're an underutilized resource. You're nothing short of a genius. And, may I say, you're a beautiful genius. <laughs> we also baked everyone cookies. Don't worry, Black Steve. We made some lactose-free. We know how dairy upsets your belly. Yeah, I think he likes it. Oh, we ate up four good minutes here. Yeah, we better work late tonight. No one else leaves until they do. Well, uh, Ninja Robot Pirates shipped out yesterday. Yeah, you told me that already. Oh, yeah. Well, we probably won't know the numbers for a little while, will we? Probably not. We could brainstorm some new ideas. Sure. You start. Okay, so how about a game about space? Lame. All right. Okay, um, what about motorcycles? Not rad enough. What about food? Not hating it. I like food. You know who else likes food? The gang at Game of Vision. Yeah, they love food. We should go see them and talk to them about food. Yes. Great idea, Mary. It really makes the game. I can't believe how many games oh. you have in production right now. Gee, thanks. I, I, uh... Are you sure you like this color, Mary? Because we want you to love it. Hey, everybody. Ugh, look who's back. Hey, Mary, uh, just wanted to say hi. Hey, you must be the guys who used to work here. You guys must be the guys who like to sit where I tug my rug. Great meeting you, but we better get back to work. If I could only cough the word douchebag. Well, 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 if it isn't the two hot shot video game tycoons. Yes, yes, we Mr. are. Mr. Rarity, Todd, good to see you. Just wanted to stop in and say hi to the old gang. I hear your game debuted today, fellas. <laughs> And based on what I hear, that thing's moving like a turd after I eat an entire block of Romano cheese. Which is to say not at all. I'm saying you're bankrupt. Oh, no. Oh, is it, Dave? Or is it possible I've been bribing Benny here with quaaludes and chewing tobacco to go through your trash on a daily basis? And if that's possible, it just might be possible I called some of my friends to make sure your little stoner vision venture was DOA. That stands for dead on your asses, fellas. Dave, dude, we are so screwed. Oh, this is the second greatest day of my life. The first greatest day being the day my father died. Wow. What? It allowed me and mother to finally be alone. Nothing wrong with that. Whoa, keep your eye on that fella. Now, if you boys will excuse me, I gotta go alphabetize my monkey skulls. <laughs> Bankrupt. Oh, God. Dude, do not sweat it. Ow, what the f***, Jerry? Well, I'm very much sweating it. we got to find a way to make some of that money back. Think. What about Larity? Maybe if we got our old jobs back. Snap out of it. Ow. Touche. Look, Jerry, Larity's never going to give us our jobs back. Not after what we did. He already replaced us. And did you see the wad on that guy? Dude, he had a python down there. I don't know. He couldn't like Sean and Mike as much as he likes us. Are you two fans of Mozart? I actually prefer Beethoven. Give the man some Beethoven and class it up by 10%. Well, I just wanted to let you know that it's been a pleasure having you two as part of the team. You guys are the best employees we've ever had at Game of Vision. If there's anything at all I can do for you, just let me know. Actually, sir, there is. We're going to need some information. Sir, we're federal agents. Hey, gum it, you sons of bitches! I knew there was something rotten about the two of you. Now, is this about that illegal elephant? No. Whoa, play a little closer to the vest, Big T. Is this about that psychic hotline scam? The accident shampoo factory? The white slaver ring? A three mile island? The Wombat Mill? Torture Academy. Getting them eagles drunk. I did not know they were cooking meth in the back of that bondage club. Stop it. You're under arrest for tax evasion. Ooh, talk about dodging bullets. We're ready to strike a deal. Ah, ah, perfect. What do you need? Your company, your house, and all your money. Unless there's something else you think we'd like better. Play me some queens so I can think.
Had a blast, guys. Later, Nolan Bush now. What about ColecoVision? I heard their admin just left to go follow Flock of Seagulls. Jerry, we're not going to ColecoVision, dude. We're going to leave the country for a while. Going to need this duct tape and this handgun. How could we have been so stupid? Cans of soup, coupons for pizza time. Where's Mr. Dakota going to get here? Now. Hello, gentlemen. How are you doing this fine day? Tony, everything's going really cool. Hey, buddy, can I get you something? Maybe like an apple pie or a giant beanbag chair shaped like tits? No, thank you, David. I would just like to get my money and be on my way. About that, there's been just a little glitch in the money. Is your name David, too? No, Then I... why are you talking? If I wanted to hear from you, I would have spoken to you. Do you understand? Dude, why do you always do that? It's not my fault. My bladder is easily intimidated. Now, David, why don't you just hand me my 300000 and I will be on my way. Here's the deal. Ow! What the... Ow! Listen, man, there's a slight problem, Tony. With Ow! Why does everybody keep slapping me? Because you're a douchebag. Look, dude, we don't have your money. I see. I see. Well, you're going to have to rectify the situation in, let's say, 24 hours. We could probably swing it if you let us roll it in with our student loans. And I could probably cut off your heads and bring them to your mothers so they can kiss their babies' asses, okay? How are you going to make our mothers kiss our own asses if you bring them our heads? You have 24 hours. 24 hours sounds very fair. Thank you, David. Until we meet again. What the hell? Dave, when you made some calls to find our investor... I didn't really call anybody. I just asked my buddy, Jamie, if he knew anybody with big money. The pot dealer, Jamie? Uh-huh. And the guy he knows with big money is probably his drug connection? Wow, you are really putting the pieces together, Magnum P.I. So what you're saying is that we borrowed 300000 and 12 dollars from a drug lord? I don't think he's really a lord. Maybe a prince or a sultan. Dave, even when we sell everything that's left here, we're still in the hawk like... Oh, God! Look, dude, we'll figure it out. This is America. There's got to be like a million ways to make money in 24 hours. And if not, I hear the afterlife is pretty sweet. You don't feel so good, Dave. Get back in there, dude. We're up $200. We only have a few more gallons to go. That's a wall, dude. The door is over there. Strike two, bro. That's that's a window. Still the wall, dude. That's weird, dude. Your face is cut, but you're not bleeding. Dude. Dude. Okay, dude. We put every cent of our savings. You don't have any savings. We put every cent of your savings on Daddy's Little Whore 2 show. That's $20,000. And the odds are 7 to 9, man. Is that good? Yeah, I have no idea. Man, they're off. Pay back a drug lord to a fast stop. Why didn't you bet on that horse? Here comes our horse. And bringing up the rear is Daddy's Little Whore. Folks, that horse will be just fine, see? Don't kill him! Let him feel the pain! You stupid piece of f***ing horse! There's only one thing left to do. Get on the ground, everybody! We're the Secretaries of the United States, and this is a robbery! Yo, you guys' nickname is terrible! Just call yourselves the Secretaries of State! Shut up! Just put the money in this bag, and no one will get hurt! Correction! Even if you give us your money, we will shoot you in the face! That's how crazy we are! Look at me! I'm Alexander Haig, bitches! You're all safe! He doesn't mean that! These guns are made of licorice! Shut up, Jerry! F*** you, Dave! My name is Henry Kissinger! Oh, yeah? Well, you look like your name is Joe! I'm screwing everything up because I'm a huge pussy! Freeze! F.B.I. You're under arrest, you filthy degenerates. Whoa! Now take off your clothes so I can scrub you clean with my tongue. Like a cat. Okay, Dave, on the count of three... Hey, stop him before he gets away! You're right, Mr. Secretary. Hold it right there, bad dude. You wanna dance, Nancy? Let's dance. Mr. Larity, I know this might seem like we're groveling, but let me say this. I know that we set your desk on fire. No, you set his desk on fire. Will you let me finish? Okay, I set your desk on fire. But maybe you taught us to be this way. Hard-edged, cutthroat businessmen. Maybe we were just trying to make you proud. I mean, wouldn't you have been ashamed of me if I hadn't set your desk on fire? Well, Dave, you do have a valid point there. So what's all this about? Between business, we need to borrow a bunch of money. It'd be just a drop in the bucket for such a successful man as yourself, Mr. Larity, sir. How much are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys, I got my own problems. Please, Mr. Laird, you gotta help us. Dave got our company funded by a drug lord, and if we don't get his money back, he's gonna do something bad with our heads and our asses and moms and something else I didn't fully understand. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be not good, though. Hold it a doggone minute. Did you say he got funded by a drug lord? Bonafide. And my boys and I are willing to deliver him right to you. Provided, of course, we forget about that other little matter. The Bondage Club meth lab? No, the thing you were actually going to charge me with, the tax evasion thingy. So what do you say, boys? Drugs are bad. Drugs are really bad. Maybe the worst. Definitely the worst. Worse than tax evasion? Totally worse than tax evasion. Do you think drugs are worse than genocide? Uh, yeah. What about nuclear war? Ooh, what about AIDS? Oh, what about rogue nuclear scientists with AIDS raping babies? You, what are you doing there? Kissing my computer. Look, as representatives of the federal government, there's no question in our minds that drugs are the worst thing that's ever happened on planet Earth, ever. That's a Roger shot. And in a big white house on Pennsylvania Avenue, there's a beautiful lady named Nancy who agrees with us. So we got a deal? Deal. David! David! I presume you're here because you have my money. Actually, Mr. Dakota, the notorious drug dealer who has illegal cash and drugs, we do not actually have your money. Uh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Help, we need someone with guns. We're all under arrest. I knew this was a setup. 
That's the way you want to play you no good sons of bitches. Then say hello to my little friend. Hola, Tony. This is it, dude. We're finally gonna die and it's all your fault. I love you, man. Just so you know, I kissed you when you were sleeping one time, but it was just a joke. You did what, Dave? A joke for who? Ow! I just got shot in the ass. Oh, God, that hurts. Now, smart boys, Dean, take these corpses over to the usual place. Good thing, Dad. Well, I guess we both got each other out of a little jammed. I agree, and you know what I'm thinking? Maybe we should just let bygones be bygones, and uh, you can give us our jobs back. I could probably arrange that. Ew. However, we cannot have any bad feelings over the way y'all left. So if you boys want your jobs back, you're going to have to make some amends for the rest of your code. What do you mean, make amends? This is cruel and unusual punishment. Why did Todd have to get kicked out of his D&D group? Pretty good morrow to thee, fine sirs. My name is Pardu, and I am the traveler of Jaro. I have wandered a great distance to trade my potions for your herbs and coin. What say you? I am Sandow, bearer of the herb. And I am Penlock, dark elf. Come, let there be dancing and merriment! I don't see dancing or merriment. Can we get your act together, fellas? with each other.